In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own meme coin. I've written some Solidity smart contract code, which deploys an ERC20 token, and then sends the total supply to Uniswap v3 as a one-sided liquidity pool. What this means is that everyone has equal opportunity to buy the token, and there's no special privileges or allocations to the developers or the team. It's a fair launch token. So let's get into the code. Okay, so here we have the meme coin repository on GitHub. This is all open source. There's a link in the description. There's also a link to a blog post which goes into more details about how to deploy this. There is a deployment script for hard hat, but I'm going to be using Remix today just because it's a very simple contract and we can do it all within Remix. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, go to the raw file, control C. I'm going to go to remix.ethereum.org, which is an online IDE. I'm going to go to contracts and then create a new file and call this mymeme.sol. I'm going to paste this in. And we can see we're using the latest version of Solidity, MIT license, and then we're importing an Open Zeppelin library for the ERC20 token. The ERC20 token library is the standard library to use for fungible tokens on Ethereum. And then we've got a non-fungible position manager interface, which lets us communicate with Uniswap. We've got a min and a create pool function. And then I'm going to change the contract name to my meme. And I'm going to change that down here as well. So we've got the name of the token and the ticker symbol. We're giving that non-fungible position manager interface a contract reference. This is the same across most blockchains. Uniswap's really good at that. So whichever blockchain you're they're deploying on, this contract address should be the same. Just double check it's there to make sure that Uniswap v3 is actually deployed on the blockchain you're using. Uh, this is for the test net. I'm actually going to be using Polygon mainnet as a test net today uh, because Gorelli is completely blocked up. So this WEF is actually wrapped Matic because Matic is the native token of Polygon. We're then creating a 1 million supply with 10 to the power of 18 decimals and we're creating a fee of 500. So the fee is the fee for the liquidity pool. So you can have two different liquidity pools in use what be free, one with like a 0.3%, 0.005%. This is using a 0.05% um, fee on every transaction. It's the lowest amount for a standard asset. We've got this square root price, which is this big number, which roughly equates to one to one. So we're going to start the starting price for this asset is the same as one Matic. So we're creating this liquidity pool, which has Matic on one side and our token on the other. We're not actually going to put any Matic into the liquidity pool. We're going to just create this kind of single sided liquidity so that people can buy into that. And as they buy into it, the price goes up. You could also do this with a USD stable coin, so you could have the base asset rather than being a native token to be in a stable coin. The benefit of that would be that your token wouldn't kind of go up or down relative to the US dollar unless someone bought or sold your token. We're doing it this way. We're actually going to kind of be pegged to Matic's price because we've got these two buckets of assets and they're kind of linked together. So if Matic's price goes up, then the other side of the pool, which is our native token, goes up with it. Relative to the US dollar, our token is going to hold a strong correlation to Matic because that's the underlying asset for our liquidity pool. We then got some state variables here, which there's some nuances with Uniswap pool where we have to have the lowest value token address um, sent first as token zero. So we first of all, we, we, when we're running the constructor argument, which is the function that runs when you first deploy the contract, we're going to mint the tokens and they're all going to be sent to the token contracted address. So the token contracted address is going to own all the tokens that are um, ever minted. And then we're going to fix the order in. So the fix the order in thing looks at whether the address of the contract, which has just been deployed, because we don't know that in advance, is kind of less or greater than WEF. And then we kind of organize the min, the ticks, the amounts based on that, whether it's um, the contract, which is the token, our, our token, my, my meme, and then the WEF, which is token one or the other way around. Once that order is all fixed up, we can then go ahead and create the pool. So we're passing in token zero, token one, the fee we set and the price. That creates a pool, it sets this public variable to the pool. And then as a separate function, we need, then need to run add liquidity. For some reason, this wouldn't work in the constructor argument. I think that might be because this actually deploys a contract and we can't interact with that um, until the next block maybe or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I couldn't get it to work. If anyone does know why it doesn't work, then let me know in the comments. 
but we then basically we run this function as a separate function afterwards and that approves the non-fungible position manager to spend all the supply or to take the supply from the contract and then we're going to send that entire supply to the Uniswap pool and the liquidity um, provider receipt, the, the NFT that like, like Uniswap sends you back once you deploy liquidity is actually sent to the contract address. We can't do anything with that. The developers can't kind of rug pull or take away the liquidity once it's deployed. All that liquidity that builds up, every time someone sends Matic to the contract to buy the token, then that sits in the liquidity pool until someone wants to sell. So the price can effectively only go up, which is some of the the benefit with the meme coins like if you get there early enough then there's a lot of upside potential with very little downside potential whereas if you get come late to a project then there's a lot of downside potential with much less upside this is obviously for only for demonstration purposes so definitely don't trade this token it has no utility or use at all so let's compile this we need to change the compiler version to 1.818 i think it was compile my meme and that's all worked, no bugs on this occasion. We're gonna change this down to the mind meme contract. The first thing we're gonna do is change the injected provider to MetaMask. We're gonna check we've got some funds in our wallet. We've got 10 Matic here, about $10. And then we are going to change this to my meme, the mymeme.soul contract, and go ahead and deploy that contract. I'm gonna confirm the transaction. This is gonna cost us 71 cents to deploy the contract. Came up with transaction under price. Let's try that again. Let's put a custom amount in here. And that's gone through. We've got our token contract address here. And if we paste that token contract address in here, we can see that the token contract address still owns all the tokens. We now need to call the add liquidity function, which will send them all to the Uniswap liquidity pool. Set it to a market rate again. Pay nine cents to call a transaction and we should get a confirmation. Let's check this bottom field with Block Explorer. So we've minted Uniswap and we've sent all the tokens, one million tokens from our wallet address, or sorry, our token contract address to the liquidity pool on Uniswap. This should actually say zero now, which it does. And we can then go to Uniswap. We can type in the token contract address. I'll put this in the description as well. And we can buy. So you can see this is just under $5. If we swap that, confirm the swap. And then we can add my meme to our MetaMask wallet. Is that going to go through? That's gone through. And we can see, if we scroll down, we've got 4.997 my meme tokens. You can see the effect that's had is it's increased the price of the my meme token relative to Matic. If we go into pools here, I can show you kind of what we were doing. So what we're effectively doing in here is we're creating a liquidity position which is only one-sided. So if we get a full range to start with, let's turn these around actually. And then we're going to change this to 0.99. And we're just deploying all the mining tokens on one side of this liquidity pool, which means you have this price curve because there's no other tokens. No one can sell into that liquidity because there, there is no liquidity until people buy the tokens. We've got this price pool where the price goes up as people buy it and then it will go back down again as they sell off their tokens. It creates a fair launch and a fair market construct for this digital asset. Once someone's brought the tokens, it's actually Matic on the other side of the pool as well. So you can effectively sell your MyMeme tokens. You need to approve that contract. And confirm the swap. And there you go, we've sold one of our MyMeme tokens back for Matic. If we look at the token contract addressing in Polygon Scan, we can see that we deployed 1 million tokens, we transferred them to Uniswap, we then purchased five tokens and sold one back. In MetaMask, we're retaining just under four MyMeme tokens. 
So that's how we can go about creating our own meme coin, an ERC20 token, and then deploying the liquidity to Uniswap, all within a Solidity smart contract. All we need now is a great meme, a strong narrative, and a little bit of community engagement. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe for updates and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.